Okay, we're going to do a quick demonstration of Excel automation using VBA. And what I'm going to show you is similar to something I did just for a, a client, a recent client. And actually, I'm using the same code, but I had to make some modifications because I'm representing data here that looks nothing like their data. So for privacy reasons, can't really show that. So what they were doing is they were getting a large download of data. This is something they have to contend with often. And that data... They were doing comparison with some other market data. The problem they were having is that the data they were receiving had duplicates, and I'll show you why it had duplicates. The reason it had duplicates, let's say there was a product that had the same SKU, so these, this is really one product, it's the glue, extra strong, one product, same SKU, but because it was in multiple categories and had multiple market codes, there were individual records created for those, and that's pretty common. Now, we had gone back to the IT team that was getting them the data they were going to do the comparison on and asked that they create a query that would concatenate these, but they were not able to accommodate that request. Also, that happens sometimes. Um, while we could have written the query for them, we chose instead to fix this in post. They were going to receive this data frequently, and they needed it cleaned up so they could do a true comparison. And what they needed is they needed a single line for each SKU but they didn't want to lose the category and market code data. So they wanted that concatenated. So we would have a single line for this item by the time they were done that concatenated construction, household, miscellaneous, and the three market codes that were present here. And in other cases, if there were two lines of code, it would concatenate the two items. If there was just one, it would just take care of the one. So it had to do a comparison throughout the data. So I'm going to show you how that ran and what the resulting data was. So we can see here we have 33 rows currently, 32 of data, but 33 rows on this sheet. Before we run anything, we want to make sure that we copy the data. We're going to make a copy of our sheet here, or yeah, the worksheet. And so I'm going to choose create a copy, move it to the end. And there it is. So now we have it at the end. And I'm actually going to work on this copy. I'm going to maintain our... Um, original data so we don't touch it. I'm going to work off this copy. And so I put my cursor up in A2. That's just where we start the process with. And I choose macros. Here's our fixed dupes macro and I run it. Now it's completed and of course it took longer. We wouldn't have screen updates on for a lot of data because that slows things down. But I wanted you to see the physical you know, representation of what was going on. But now that line of that extra glue, that extra, or that glue, extra strong, is now concatenated to show the three categories, the three market codes, but a single SKU. And this made things a lot cleaner for the comparison they had to do after that. And now they just run that procedure whenever, whenever they get new data. Um, so that's one example of what you can do with Excel automation. Hopefully it kind of uh, spurred your imagination as to things you're doing at your company, and you can look into using VBA.